Hello and welcome to Darius Comic School and today we take a look at a manga and it's called The Legend of Mother Sarah and this one is a really great book. Um, I really underestimated the story and um, the drawings but it became an all-time favorite. Um, I found this comic on, I think uh, last year I was in a comic salon Erlangen here in Germany and in the I guess one Euro comics pile I found this one's and uh, great covers and yeah a bit cheesy the covers but the story is really really great and there's a lot to learn here so um, if you want to stay for it right if you want to just check out good comics you're right here But this is a comic school. We also learn how to make comics. And um, I would say, hopefully, this is a short video. But um, it is a um, one-issue miniseries. I think this is an ongoing manga in, uh, I assume, in Japan. And this is made in 89. So this is true old-school stuff. And yeah, let me, let me let me show you the premise and let's get through with this hopefully um, in good pace and good time. So it starts. Uh, wait a second. I have to I have to grab another comic. Where is it? Um, because this is like really funny. Like uh, 80, 80, 89, 1989, I think. Um, yeah. A nuclear war or uh, the Cold War was at its height and I think this was the time of Mad Max and um, so here I have A Fist of the North Star, check out the review I made a while ago or maybe I will do a new review on this probably it's needed um, because like my newer videos are just better and uh, better camera work um, so where does look at this like And I think if I grab a berserk, uh, it's also uh, the same same as this one. Come on, is there not just a silhouette? Okay, let's put this aside. So it starts here in the wastelands uh, with this woman and she's walking here. And yeah, cool splash page, very dramatic. Um, let me put this right here and Then we start in space. I will uh, shorten this a bit. Um, it's like the Earth was um, an annihilated by nuclear fallout, by bombs, by war. So mankind flees to space. And then somewhere in the future, there is a faction of scientists. And they say that if we detonate a huge, massive atomic bomb right here somewhere, it would shift the poles. And everything that is uh, wasted, like um, nuclear radioactive wasteland, will shift towards um, the ice poles. And the Antarctica, uh, North and South Pole, will then be um, habitable. And two factions are then formed. And one faction is like, um, you might say... Um, I don't know, they call them uh, the neoconservatives and then there's the progressive and it's pretty much like conservatives versus liberals, something or like revolution versus, um, how do you say, it? it's like the empire versus the rebels. But in this book, and this is why this is so great, um, look at the artwork. Like um, I love how manga, <laughs> the first couple of pages I have right down there, um, Otomo Akira I will review that in a few days and the first couple of pages are always very cinematic like they get out the best stuff and you get like the cinematic the cinematic views and then it just cuts to television like normal then you're in the story then you're hooked and then they are like a girlfriend that doesn't wear any makeup anymore and um, that's when you meet her the first time The way she really is but that's a topic for another day so um, we get some explosions in space and this comic does really 
really cool like uh, it introduces like as you can see um, it takes its time this is why I love this comic or manga so much you can see things floating in space debris things falling down you see a bunch of people um, and then we close in and then as the debris falls down we see that um, here it is E-sprayed, I think this is for the terrorists or something like this, that they hijacked the space stations. You see guns, I don't know, it's in the future, but they use still like cool guns. And then these E-people are, again, the terrorists. It's like not versus GDI, and these are the not people. Um, and then you see this man and his wife, and these E-people are looking for someone And um, as you can see, a huge hangar, and you don't really know what's going on, but 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 you get a feeling it's like uh, World War II, somebody, or like uh, the Russian Revolution, somebody will be persecuted, somebody will die. You get a huge panel, like they're trying to flee to Earth, something's going down. And I give you a good introduction, so um, later I show you just the relevant pieces, but just to get... A feeling and then look at the drawings like amazing drawings um, we see as as a beginner artist if you think how can I get this this way um, it comes down to fundamentals and we will learn the fundamentals of anatomy um, and once you know those like uh, you know those circles and all of this stuff and how you um, have background mid-ground foreground how you lay this out how you have like a vanishing point then it gets easier, definitely. Um, and yeah, then somebody gets whacked in the face uh, with a gun, gets taken away. Um, here you can see, this is our main protagonist, she's called Sarah. She will come into play. As you can see, she has a, a newborn and two children, uh, or even three children and a husband. And this guy says nothing, they just like take it and everybody's looking and these e guys say uh, uh, over there that's the guy and then uh, pretty much her husband gets like i don't know do you say framed or um yeah my camera is kind of sliding i don't know why and come on let's get this a bit here okay and so People run, he starts running, she's standing there, um, he's taking off. Beautiful panels, I mean, um, some great manga art. And then he, he runs, and this wife, uh, this older woman screams, her too, like uh, she was with him. Nice done, nice job, old lady, nice job. W well done, ratting out other people. Now that's always... Um, I saw them looking at each other. I swear it. Keep going straight ahead. And then pretty much uh, these E people see this and uh, mommy will catch up to you as soon, soon, soon as she can. So she gives her baby to um, her three younger children and says pretty much um, go run. I will catch up to you. This guy grabs her and then Uh, some more explosions, chaos, and as this guy is taken by surprise, she whacks him in his face. Like, check this out. This is like some Sylvester Stallone punching. Go, run now. And then pretty much like this is, uh, yeah, this is the intro. And then mommy, mommy, the children run chaos um everybody is trying to run these guys um are there for the security of everybody i don't know and then but everybody's kind of fleeing the space station and then they shoot up the people who want you know what i mean these are like rescuing ships and the people get hindered to get there so it comes to shoot out and yeah nice job from everybody Ships are heading towards Earth, and we doesn't, we don't, we do not get uh, a great explanation. But um, we see like it's very beautifully told in the silent panels. 
um, spaceships heading towards Earth, going down there, um, hitting the atmosphere, beautiful storytelling, and then some some ships just do not make it, make it like one explodes. Um, I would I would say that um, sure they have the ships, but it's like uh, rescuing capsules and probably they stayed there forever. Like this is probably outdated tech, and then this is where the story continues. We get just a big white panel, silence, wasteland, the Earth. We see something moving in there, then we see something much bigger moving and then it kind of zooms in and we see a truck driving and this is when we meet up uh, with this guy and he has this beautiful um, truck and on the truck there is um, a woman here and beautifully drawn like check out the speed lines check out just um, just beautifully i have to say like this 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 old mangas from the late 80s are beautiful um i know a bunch of people um draw digitally and probably you can you can have the same how do you say the same results but you just can't feel um the mastery and artwork and care that uh, people have put into these pages like um true mastery and we will strive for this also but let Let's just check out the story. So we see a big fat um, ship, uh, kind of like in, what's that? Just just a pilgrim from Garth Ennis and Carlos Esquera. Go check out that review and go also check out the review for um, Bloody Mary, Garth Ennis, Carlos Esquera. Beautiful stuff. And yeah, pretty pretty much Mad Max here. And I have to say, I like this setting. And um, when she had to abandon her children, I mean, like, that's probably some very basic storytelling, but you can definitely feel the emotion like a mother that has to um, leave her children or send them away from her. And then being accused, like you have already there, um, that bit of big injustice like she's just a mother um there definitely is some oppression or some oppressors then she has to fight for herself her family um she she loses her children like pretty dramatic beats that definitely set up the story for a strong uh, strong gravitational emotional pull um so and the writing gets really good so we're already at minute 13 13 but let's i i don't want to rush it but yeah she lands here she we we see a civilization and it's this place and then it's over okay then issue two cover are pretty beautifully made and so again introduction and we meet up or we see this um this kind of town border town and there's some mining going on they have supplies and they have like um they are kind of traders uh, tra traders not tra traders uh, they trade and these are soldiers from the i don't know what they called um they are called neoconservatives short me so these are like your um, uh, empire army imperial army and here some of these imperial people have captured some of these E rebels and yeah, they got them and you see pretty much it's a pretty harsh environment and you can feel already um, that there will be no justice. Like this is classic Western, classic war movie, classic drama and um, yeah, this Sarah checks out the place. She's very attentive and she meets this woman. This this woman seems pretty happy. She doesn't know what to make out of it. And um, she, go, she goes to see her. She meets her up. And we 
get introduced to her and her boyfriend and he's a young soldier and other mo um, soldiers mock him and yeah pretty beautifully like not a word spoken this is this is um the power of visual storytelling and this art cannot go lost and won't can you see this beautiful panels um they meet they have eye contact then uh, it stops like one two three four five six seven eight nine panels i guess nine nine panels is Uh, pretty much almost a good uh, amount of panels a page can handle. And um, I don't know, they, that girl has a farm and it's pretty pretty like pretty much the apocalyptic story. You see water, she's a good girl, uh, the soldier is a good boy, um, the, man, the, the man remembers the past, Sarah meets those people. And you start to to care a bit, and um, we we learn that the Sarah is searching for her children, and um, of course she hasn't seen them. And what's next? And then we meet um, this this imperial army, let's say, and here they sit. Our merchant is introduced to them, and this is beautiful because, like, you have um, set up the story this way: that Sarah is searching for her children. So Sarah is our viewing point into this world. Um, she has our sympathy, and also she's our lens. And this other guy, the trader, um, is a different lens, which leads us th then to this imperial guys. Here's uh, where um, I don't know. He needs to get some papers signed. And then we have this kind of fat, fat guy uh, who's a general or some, some admiral. And yeah, they are not nice and they seem to be greedy, pretty much, yeah. And um, we, we already from the artwork and what they say and how they act, um, We, we know they're scum. And it's pretty much like a beautiful Italo-Western where a stranger comes to town and the town's people are held hostage by some scumbags, either military or bandits. And um, Sarah checks out the city and um, there's construction going on. And what she sees, when, when she sees like, um, like as you can see, soldiers guarding this place and then she sees a boy right there and she sees a boy working and yeah pretty much like mad max 4 um we see there's a lot of injustice going on she's been let i don't know they're searching for water and then um this new girl trusts now sarah beautiful artwork um similar to nausicaa Valley of the Winds or Hokuto no Ken, like really beautiful, like check this out how um, the form of her cloth and all of that is just like simple brush strokes, steal this, learn this. And then here they have now water, which is uh, a very scarce resource and beautiful splash page, so something ancient down here. We don't know really what's going on. And then her boyfriend uh, sneaks up on them. And yeah, they talk a bit. They talk a bit about the rebels, politics, all of that stuff. I'm skipping a few pages. And it's it's really, there, there is like no fluff. Every Everything in this story is pretty beautifully um, and well crafted. And I will try to keep this short at a 25 minute mark. But yeah, we get introduced to this place. Military is up in arms. And you have some dead um, rebel soldiers. Um, they shot them. And as you can see, the people are watching. These are the rebel soldiers and they are getting executed. And we got here a guy with just one leg. And he's the leader of this... Um, E-Rebels and yeah, military uh, soldiers are getting 
marched to to some I don't know shooting range or I don't know how to say that, but her boyfriend is now one, um, also one that needs to execute those people, and as you can see here, they are with their backs um, against the wall. And some very dramatic points, they try to shoot it. I, I don't want to spoil everything, but um, some very great storytelling, some great characterization. And as you can see, um, this boy that is very naive at the beginning that has joined the military um, sees now firsthand what he has to do, to do, what he should do. But when they shoot the prisoners or the war prisoners, he doesn't shoot. And um, as you can see, he's struggling to do it. And some very interesting beats about people trying to be human beings. And this guy pretty much has lost his humanity. And uh, again, I don't want to make this video too long. I don't want to spoil it. But beautiful drawings, beautiful storytelling, and some pretty cool plot twists, and um, a great story. Like there, and I, if I have to say, like some really big surprises, and um, nobody like here, um, like the evil guys are evil, but sometimes you don't know which side they are on and um, there are some betrayals and some great action scenes as you can see here like um, people are raiding something and Sarah comes in and saves the day so definitely great stuff great artwork um, again I want to keep this video relatively short but um, yeah, some, some similar themes. Here it's Sarah, here it's uh, Kenshiro helping the old and helpless and um, beautiful themes of humanity, but not written in a naive way. Like pretty, um, pretty much everybody's looking out for himself. And um, yeah some evil things going on, some pretty cool action, some great shootout, explosions, uh, armies clashing, and um, it's a quick read, but it's beautifully made. Like, um, I, when I was trying to review this, I, I couldn't put this down. It was like I, I had to, I had to, to read the next and then the next. Like, I did, I did read this, in just one sitting and that's how great this is and as you can see um, evil deeds everywhere tyranny from left and right and shootouts it's pretty much also a spaghetti western that's why I like it that's why I love it but um, it's worth the attention it's worth the money like maybe you can track this down very cheap I think I paid for this like eight euros and um, I didn't regret it. Great story, great arc, art. And I hope you had a great time. See ya.